Hey everybody and welcome to Jones and to Get Fit, our live cooking show here brought to you from nowhere else but my kitchen. That's right, you are in my beautiful kitchen. If you watch any other episodes, you've been in the same place before so you know what it looks like. Today, oh, it is going to be incredible. I am so excited to share with you what we are making today. It is from a blog um, called Well Plated by Erin, um, her blog, Well Plated. Um, stumbled on it and um, actually I was talking with people from Pick and Save and Roundies and they brought uh, that website up to me and sh shared it with me. So I found this healthy chili recipe from her website and I tweaked it a little bit because you know that's what I do. I tweak recipes a, a little bit here there but it's very small and it is amazing. Now I'll give you this, that the recipes that I have done in the past that I've shared with you before, you can check out my YouTube page for all of those, right, all those different recipes, are generally very easy. Easy, simple recipes you can throw together. This one is easy, but not as easy as some. It takes a little bit more prep time because I'll, I'll show you all the ingredients. It takes a little bit more time, but I can guarantee you, you will not regret spending the time prepping these fresh ingredients because it is gonna make a world of difference. You're gonna have, you're gonna be doing one of these things, right? And that's an orchestra in your mouth bursting from the flavor. It is gonna be incredible, incredible. So here, let me walk you through. Healthy turkey chili, it is possible. First ingredient you really need is, well, turkey, right? So I have the Jenny O ground turkey. I get the 93% lean. That's just what works best for me um, to have. And let me walk you through the other ingredients that we have here. Hopefully, we don't lose reception because my internet's kind of crazy, as we know. All right, so you need oil of some type, right? Um, I'm using grapeseed oil. You need ground cumin. Woo, crazy. You need paprika, cayenne pepper. You need onions. That is two medium-sized onions chopped and diced and all that stuff. That is three carrots. Her recipe calls for two, but I like carrots, so we're having three. All right, and then you have three cloves of garlic right there. Ain't that beautiful? You have three tablespoons of chili pepper, three tablespoons. You have one red pepper in the back, one green pepper. That makes two peppers total. Color doesn't matter, really, personal preference. Have fun with it. We have one 14.5 ounce of diced tomatoes, one tomato sauce, organic tomato sauce, all right, and we have uh, dark kidney beans in reduced sodium, and we have two pounds of ground turkey, as I showed you. All right, the, and well, a cup and a half of water. So, you know, you're gonna want all those ingredients. Help me churn you a little bit. So we're set to show you the cool magic here. All right, first thing, turn this on. Now, you can speed this recipe up, it's still gonna take time. It's gonna take a little bit of prep time, cook time. Even if you rushed it a little bit, it's probably gonna take about an hour total if you really want to do it almost like any chili right you make any type of chili you <laughs> it's always better the next day you know you let it simmer for a couple hours and let it sit and let everything just really meld and mix together and it's going to be even more flavorful the next day but sometimes we don't have that right sometimes we're in a rush and the hour works really well, especially on a day like this. It's a beautiful day up here in Wisconsin. It's, you know, uh, beginning of February. It was mid thirties, absolutely glorious, beautiful day. And um, chilly weather is right, you know, it's gonna be cold again in a couple days. This chili is gonna be perfect and it's gonna feed my wife and I, Katie and I, for the entire week. So first we're heating up our pot right over here, as you can see, got that all set. You're gonna take about a tablespoon of your oil. You can use olive oil. As I said, I'm using the grapeseed oil. And you're just gonna use about a tablespoon of it. Right about there. Just, you know, I don't measure stuff out. I just eyeball it. It works. You let that heat up a little bit. Anytime you put anything in a pan, remember you want it to heat up a bit. Not so the oil's smoking, but so that when you put something in it, you get a sizzle, right? So you hear that happening. Then you know you are, are right on it. Hey, Keith, thanks for the videos. I make sure to watch them all. Thank you so much, Keith, for joining us and, and commenting. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate your support. Awesome. You can go check out my YouTube page, everybody. It's uh, Jones and to Get Fit on YouTube. Uh, there's a link in the uh, copy, so you can just click below and, and find that. It'll take you right there. Please subscribe and share with your friends. I really appreciate it. Okay, our oil's heated up. We are going to throw in a lot of the stuff you saw chopped up. So we're going to throw in the onions. 
Oh, there's that sizzle. Oh, I live for that. So we got onion, one. Now these are two medium-sized onions, hence why I need two bowls of them. Dump it right in there. Oh, man. Glorious. Three cloves of diced garlic. What? Crazy. Now, you could use garlic powder if you wanted. That's totally uh, up to you. Uh, I prefer to use the actual cloves if I'm not feeling too lazy. We have three carrots here. Chop a little bit smaller, right? The smaller uh, they are, the faster they're going to cook. I'm really happy I grabbed the big pot. I almost took a small one. We're going to take in our, also throw in our peppers. Now these peppers, red pepper, one red pepper, one big one, and uh, one green pepper. Yeah, it's more medium size. Two peppers. Boom. Come on. This, I can tell you already, is so colorful. It is amazing. Here, I'll, let me show you how colorful it is. Let me grab the spoon so I can really show you. Turn it around and bring it over here. The goal is you want it to get soft. So it's going to be about four to five minutes. You're going to be cooking. Look at that. Doing this with one hand and left hand. So don't make fun of my strength here. So you're just going to stir it around and mix it all together here. Yeah. Look at that. This is why I could use a cameraman. So if any of you are interested in being a cameraman, camerawoman, let me know. The perk of it is I don't pay you, sadly, because, you know, um, I don't make money doing this, but you know, you're welcome to pay. You can pay me if you want. You know, maybe it was something we get into. But if you want to be uh, my cameraman, camera woman, all you have to do is come over here, film it, and I will feed you. Look at that deal, man. You get free food. Yes! It's like a score right there. Oh, okay, so it is on a medium heat. We're on a little more on a medium high right now. And we're just going to try softening those um, ingredients up. Just put them right in there with the oil. It's rocking and rolling. Now, as that's going, um, I should have taken this out of the refrigerator a little bit earlier, but that's all right. Again, I have two pounds of ground turkey and the Genio, 97% lean. Um, if you wanted to use beef, totally go for it. Use the beef. No worries about that. Um, just really try to get as lean of a beef as possible, right? That 93%, 97% lean beef, all that works really well for these recipes. Um, that's or, you know ground chicken, whatever you really have a preference for. Um, I like ground turkey. Uh, I don't, especially when I'm mixing it. If I'm making burgers, then I prefer beef. You know something like that. But if I'm making something being a stinker, if I'm making sloppy joes or tacos or chili or anything like that, and you know it says ground beef or anything, I'll usually choose ground turkey. Why? Because it usually will have lower fat in it. It's also just a little bit healthier for you. No, not like crazy, not like it's going to make a huge, amazing world difference, but it is going to help you out, and I, you really don't overly taste the difference when you mix it in with everything. Now, I don't know how many of you are, are huge chili makers and are like, go crazy with your chili and throw everything in. I'll tell you already, this chili looks so much more colorful, already looks tastier than some of the other chilies out there. All right, let me, let me bring you over here so you can see what's cooking here. Look at that. Boom, folks. Oh, this is time when you need live Facebook smell-o-vision. Because it's amazing. Bam. All right, so I'm just keeping, I'm stirring that occasionally. Got a like for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Love the likes, folks. Thank you. If, uh, man, smell-o-vision, that'd be sweet, huh? Have that. So we're just stirring that, letting it get all soft. And then we're going to uh, really throw it up on high and put the turkey on it. Hey, Don, thanks for the comment. Yummy, yeah. I'm, I'm pumped. This is an amazing recipe. Again, I found this recipe from Well Plated, a blog. Lots of amazing recipes on there, healthy recipes. Um, you can also check out um, jonesandtogetfit.com, my website. We have a recipe section there. This recipe will be going there as well, obviously with a link back to Erin at Well Plated, since she's the one who, uh, who put it out there for us. So absolutely awesome. Um, I, we're gonna be pulling some more recipes from her, uh, from her blog because they are so amazing. So just be ready, uh, cause you get live cooking shows with me, Sp your host, Spencer Jones, bringing them to you on your device. Maybe you throw it up on your TV and watch it. I think Israel does that. He shared an awesome picture of him, uh, him and his son watching my cooking show on their television. So thank you so much Israel for that. Randall looking good, thank you so much. I, I'm assuming you're talking about me and the chili, you know. That's kind of what happens. 
I have my coffee. Okay, so we're cooking pretty good. Now, really quickly, as it's cooking down, we're going to throw our, our turkey in here just a little bit. Turn that up a little more. Uh, it's going to take about five minutes or so, so we're pretty close to throwing that in there. Um, really quickly, we have some amazing things ha watching on TV right now, Israel. Dude, that is awesome. Thank you so much. Love it. Uh, just, that's, that's so cool. I like, made it big time. It's crazy. So, thank you. Uh, as I was saying, we have some big things happening here for me and Jonesen to get fit. And some really cool things happening next week. As a matter of fact, starting Wednesday night, and I, I can probably give you a little maybe preview on Tuesday, but definitely Wednesday night and Thursday, we're kicking off this Jonesen for Sailfish. That's right. I'm heading down with Israel, the guy watching me on the big screen TV down there, you know, going crazy. Um, we are headed down to Florida to catch sailfish out of our kayaks. Now, what does this have to do with our live cooking show? Well, Jones and Get Fit is sponsoring us to go down. Shocker, right? Um, I'm, you know, working out, eating healthy, doing all that good stuff, and we're gonna be paddling and um, going after um, these sailfish and catching these big monsters. I have those muscles, are real those suckers in, and see if we can win this extreme kayak fishing tournament. It's gonna be crazy. So the cool part is. Check out and subscribe to our YouTube page, Don't Sing It Fit YouTube page. There's a link there, as I mentioned. Um, so you can be there for the updates when we do that. Also, 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 get this. I'm doing live updates on my personal page, Spencer Jones. So if you are not friends with me, make sure you friend me on Facebook, Spencer Jones, because I will be pushing out live videos throughout the day. I'm taking you with me and Israel on this live uh, journey. So I'm bringing you with me to go after sailfish out of your kayak, uh, out of my kayak, so you get to join me in this whole journey. Packing, driving, singing crazy songs. I don't know, it's going to be wild, it's going to be crazy. Um, this is a whole thing. I'll give a quick shout out to all the sponsors. If I can remember them off the top of my head. A huge shout out to Jackson Kayak, Rutabaga Paddle Sports, Bending Branches, uh, Tommy Head Jigs, Tail and Toads, uh, Manly Rods, Shorebound Here, Jones can Get Fit, obviously, and Yak Angler for making this possible. Huge shout out to them. Um, for doing that. Um, so thank you very much. Let's see here. Uh, Tara, you mentioned you can put all these ingredients in bags and freeze for crock pot meals. Made this last summer from my garden veggies. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. You are absolutely correct. And if you prep it beforehand, let's say you have some time, like Tara mentioned, she's, she's a teacher uh, with me. And uh, you know, if you have time over that summer to really prep these vegetables and, and grow them even better yet so you don't have to buy them, and you grow them, and you chop them up and freeze them, whew, makes it so easy. Uh, and actually, one of the recipes I'm looking at sharing here, I'll give you a heads up, I'm not sure when I'm gonna put it in, it'll probably be in a couple weeks, is, excuse me, it's gonna be a crock pot white chicken chili. I don't know, I'm kind of in the chili mood lately. So, I don't know, kind of some fun stuff. We'll see, I don't know, if you wanna know what's coming up next, make sure you subscribe to our weekly, because every week, every Thursday, you get to know what I'm uh, coming out with on Monday, so it's not a surprise. Um, all right, we got a ground turkey. We're gonna put that in there. Boom, one pound in. Second pound, here we go. Boom. We're gonna turn this really sucker up on real high to cook it even more and brown that meat faster. Chopping it up now with our wooden spoon. Mixing it all in. All right. So anyway, that's some crazy stuff happening here. Some awesome things happening next week for Jones and to get fit for me and all that good, glorious stuff. All right, we're on high. We're browning that meat, letting the, the, the taste all mix together. Now the aroma is starting to collect. It is amazing uh, and doing all this good stuff. Then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients and boom, we're gonna be set for an amazing chili in about 45 minutes or next day. I'll tell you, I'm Katie and I, we're looking forward to having this every, almost every single night of the week because it's gonna be amazing, glorious. Um, also, if you, I don't know if you saw that Southwest chicken recipe, I'll give you this cool little thing. We loved it. I mean, we freaking love that recipe anyway because it's awesome. Southwest crock pot chicken, shredded chicken. Well, we went crazy with it. And uh, uh, we had it on salads, we had it for dinners and all that stuff. And we, you know, had a few days off and we're like, you know what? That would be so tasty to have again and have it on our salads to, for a quick, easy dessert. I made four pounds today. That's right, four pounds of chicken right there, southwest, all in the crock pot. All I did, follow the recipe that I shared last week, and uh, threw in the crock pot this morning before I left for work at 7, 6.50, 7 a.m., turned it on low, came back around five o'clock, you know, 4.30 when I came home, 
and uh, boom, done, set to go. Now, I don't know if you saw me pull my hand away really quickly. You're obviously holding something hot here. Uh, make sure the pants are choosing. Grab a, a hot pad if you need, if you know it's gonna be hot. Make sure you keep stirring it. You don't want it to get uh, burned at all. You don't want your, uh, your uh, any of the, I can't do it with my left hand. The onions, the garlic to get burned. That's no good. Now, this recipe, I'm saying now a lot. I don't know why. I should, I should really work on that. Well, now, <laughs> this recipe calls for no beans. It's a beanless chili. Well, I don't know if you saw well, at the beginning, I have beans over there because I like some beans in my chili. I'm only putting one can of kidney beans in here. You can put more, you can put less, you can put nothing in it, and that is all good. No worries at all. It's just an extra uh, protein for you of uh, getting those beans in there. Up to you, whatever you like um, works. Also, this recipe does not have any um, noodles, right? Anything like that. Now, there's a big debate, especially if you're from Wisconsin, uh, about noodles and chili that a lot of people, not everybody, a lot of people in Wisconsin believe, wholeheartedly believe, that there needs to be noodles in chili. And, you know, it's a, it's a heated debate. Well, here's what, here is what we're going to do for our healthy chili. We're not going to put any noodles in. However, if you wanted to, here's what I would suggest doing. I would cook um, some whole wheat noodles, whether elbows or spaghetti noodles and chop them up or do whatever, whole wheat ones. And then once it's done, uh, I'll cook it and stuff. You add it to it right before you eat it, right? You just add it in, they'll heat up in no time, and, and you just eat and enjoy it that way. Um, throw it in. You can make rice, um, whole wheat, um, whole wheat rice, uh, brown rice, no, I can't think today. Brown rice is a great choice as well. If you want to add a little bit of cheese, that's okay. Remember though, folks, cheese is not an ingredient, it's a seasoning. So treat it as you would a seasoning, like some of the stuff over here, not as a whole ingredient. Well, throw it in three cups, you know, our, our cup. Ah, no, no, it's a, it's a seasoning. Let it season. Great right, cheese is okay. Just like everything within moderation. All right, we're almost good over here. This is cooking down pretty good. Let me bring you over again so you can see uh, how amazing this looks. Cause you know, you just gonna see my ugly mug and that gets annoying. So there we go, check that out. Boom. So we got, starting to get a little bit of nice little liquid base in there from the veggies and the turkey cooking down. Looking pretty good. Pretty colorful chili if you ask me, I don't know. Just my, my take on it. We have it on pretty high heat right now. Um, it's burning a little bit on that side. Got that taken care of though. It's mixing it around. All right. Well, we're almost done. We're gonna start adding the last couple ingredients here and then we're gonna be ready to rock and roll. One question I have for all of you. I really appreciate all your comments. Thank you so much. Looking great. Uh, would be a healthy side to well, what would be a healthy side to serve? Hey, that is a fabulous question, Israel. Really um, love it. Well, think. Uh, hmm. It's a great question. Well, you have your protein in here, all right? So you you have a big bowl. You have your protein with the turkey with beans. You have a lot of vegetables. This is this is gonna if you're using the container system, this is gonna count as a lot of vegetables because you have the peppers, the carrots the onions the and the tomatoes in it you're going to be adding like one bowl of this like i don't know if you took what would be a bowl size let's say one cup just for an example if you took one cup of this that would probably equal to we got some good container sizes um i have extra containers um i would say one cup of this would probably be one vegetable one one protein um, and maybe one tablespoon, maybe. So really, you can go crazy with this and you wouldn't necessarily need a side. However, if you're like me and you like to have more than one thing uh, as a side, you know, not just the one dish in front of you, 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 you could add some things to it. Here's what I would do um, if I was gonna make this for Katie and myself tonight, if we were gonna have this. Here's what we would do. Um, here's what I would do. Because it already has your protein, because it already has your vegetables included in it, I wouldn't need, you know, I wouldn't make broccoli with it. I wouldn't do anything like that. What I would do is, <laughs> I'll be honest, I'll be naughty. 
and I would make myself some garlic cheese bread. That's totally what I would do, or garlic bread of some type. Uh, and how I would make that is I, I'm a big fan of not just whole wheat bread, I really like um, the, no, just escape me, like the, uh, like honey oats are really good. Oh my gosh, hold on, I, I'm totally brain fart now. Let me see, I know I have some in my freezer, so I don't go through, that's what it is. Like the sprouted grains, haha, <laughs> that's the name. Yeah, we go with the sprouted grains. That's a sprouted seven grain bread. I don't go through bread that much, that's why I keep it in the freezer. Um, so a sprouted grain bread, you, you throw a little bit of butter on that, just a little bit, um, and then some garlic powder. Again, maybe a little bit of cheese if that's what you wanted, a very little bit, just so you get that flavor of it. Throw it in the oven, probably 350 for five minutes, and then you throw it on broil really quick, just to brown that top, boom, you are set to rock and roll, and um, that'd be your extra little treat with it. If you're using containers, one slice of bread generally is going to be um, one carb container. So I try to, you know, I make sure I don't have too many carbs throughout the day so I can make that happen. Okay, we are all good. The meat is all cooked. Stuff is, the, all the vegetables and stuff are nice and soft. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add the rest of our ingredients. So after all that's brown, soft, you're going to add a cup and a half. It's hard to see on that side. It's a cup and a half of water. Boom. And we're keeping it on high right now. Uh, or it's like a more of a medium, I guess. Medium high. You're going to add your beans. And this is why I brought spatulas to help the stuff get up. There we go. And then one can of tomato sauce. This is about a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. It is organic. Tomato sauce. Roundies, actually. Tomato sauce, I believe. It's pretty awesome. Boom. One can of, sorry, 14 and a half ounces of diced tomatoes. You can use whatever you want. If you're not a fan of diced tomatoes, or uh, you can use another can of tomato sauce. If you like the more tomatoes that you, you know, the thicker ones, you can do that. Um, so they're not diced. You could, you know, if you have tomatoes that you are, that you grew at home, you can use those, right? Just find what works for you. Really quite flexible. Okay. Now we have all those in there. We're going to start adding our spices to it. We have three tablespoons, sorry, three tablespoons of chili powder. Boom. Three tablespoons of chili powder. We're going to add one tablespoon, uh, one tablespoon of cumin. It's a brand new container. I probably should have prepped this beforehand, but I didn't. I was going to use my fun little bowls of containers that I have, except uh, I didn't have enough small ones, so I'm like, ah, I'll just, I'll just do this right on screen, right? And then I realized, oh look, I didn't open it. I'm a snacker. All right. Yeah, we all are points. One tablespoon. Come on. There we go. Boom. One tablespoon of paprika. What crazy? One tablespoon of this bad stuff right there. And then our final ingredient is going to be cayenne pepper. Now, she suggests on the well plated blog, she suggests to have one teaspoon of it. And then as it's cooking, you can make the judgment call. Hey, you know, I want more. Hey, I want less or whatever works for you. This is what I suggest doing. Let's do exactly that. I would start with one teaspoon, not tablespoon, one teaspoon of it. And then, so we got organic cayenne pepper, right? Crazy. And then one teaspoon of it. Then taste as you go. If you like it a little spicier, great. Add a little more. If you don't, um, you're kind of out of luck. So maybe just, you know, taste it. But start with that and you should be good. You can add salt, pepper. Her recipe calls. Now, as I mentioned to you, I, I adjusted a couple small things on here. Um, I did not add any... Okay, Spencer, thing. I did not add any um, celery to mine, like she calls in her recipe. Um, I'm not adding any salt or pepper in mine. I figure I can always add that a little bit later. I'm not a fan of adding salt to my recipes right away. Um, if you watch any of the other shows, 
or episodes you notice I don't really do that. I might add it at the end, but to be perfectly honest, I rarely, rarely ever do that. It's it's just a little extra spice that I can add if I really need, and I find I don't need to, usually. All right, mixing this sucker all together. And now, to be honest, it looks like a soup. I'll bring you over here so you can see it. It looks like a soup uh, as opposed to a chili. So here's what you need to do. You put it on medium, you cover it, and you just let this sucker simmer for 45 minutes, right? 45 minutes at least simmering. Um, and then, you know, once it gets to your thick consistency, if you want it uh, less thick, you add a little more water. If you need it thicker, you just let it keep simmering. Now, um, the recipe that I believe she took this from uh, said to let it simmer for three hours. Uh, she was in a rush. Aaron from Well Plated, that is, was in a rush and did this in 45 minutes. And so really, whatever, really, I mean, just like any of my stuff, it's whatever works best for you, right? It's all about making it work in your lifestyle. This recipe is still, re excuse me, relatively easy. It's more work than some of the other ones. Yeah, totally. And I, I try giving you some easy recipes you can do at home that are quick, simple. This one is not terribly complicated by any means, but it is going to take some more prep time. Know that. Prep it ahead if you can and just plan that out and you will have an amazing dinner. Let's go take a look before we, uh, before we leave for the night, folks. So there we go. There is your turkey, healthy turkey chili. And we're going to let this sucker simmer down. For about an hour and then i'm going to take a picture of it and i'll post it in the comments uh below thank you so much for watching everybody i really appreciate you joining me uh with our live cooking show please subscribe to our youtube page sign up for our weekly as well you get to know a lot of cool different things you get workout moves articles all that good stuff be sure to friend me on facebook and follow along on our live journey next week crazy it's almost here next week when we go uh, israel and i go on and take on some sailfish out of our kayaks and do our best uh in this tournament wish me luck we'll be having lots of fun oh randall y'all yeah, likes to put chipotle peppers in his chili totally oh you got so many toppings to this oh i didn't even think about that um the topping aspect of it you could add avocados you could add habaneros to it you know chipotle peppers you know any kind of topping we talked a little bit about um, noodles or rice you can add, a little bit of cheese if that's what's something you liked, uh, but that's totally something else you can add as well. The possibilities are endless for toppings. I'd love to know what you would do, how you would eat it, what kind of toppings you would put on it. Put it in the comments below. Let me know. What would you add to it to make it even better for you and your family? I'm curious. Let me know. Put it in the comments below. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. Please give it a like. I really appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great night. Enjoy it. And stay fit, stay healthy, and show me what you got. Show me your recipes. We'll catch you all later.